Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a really wonderful day thus far. And so I'm here with the latest on what is happening across the Caribbean region. And before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and so as we return to this satellite imagery here, we can see that there is some activity noted across some areas. And uh, down as we look into the vicinity of South America, Venezuela, and Colombia, there we can see a lot of those different colors indicating that there is some convective activity. So persons within these areas are likely receiving a lot of rainfall. Now, take a look at that pattern, that little streak of convective activity. Now, uh, that path is as a result of the wind shear so as we go to the wind shear map uh, we can definitely see its influence and of course we have those arrows to show uh, the direction to which those upper level winds are blowing and we can see that they get stronger as we head more into the Caribbean from South America so where we have those red and orange shades is where we have the stronger wind shear so that is what is helping to uh, result in the path of that activity but nothing major really seen across the region there is a front that extends from the Gulf of Mexico up into parts of the uh, eastern states of the U.S. and that is going to be moving offshore as we head to tomorrow. So there isn't anything of great concern at this point in time. As for the Greater Antilles, uh, there will be somewhat of a good chance of rainfall for some areas as we progress to the afternoon hours, so please be mindful of that. But uh, as I said, nothing major is anticipated as we progress throughout today. And then looking at the rain Rainfall totals for the next 12 hours. So, so as the map becomes more colorful, uh, the more rainfall is expected. We can see that as we go from those shades of green, yellow, uh, that orange, those reds, increase in rainfall totals, the more colorful this map becomes. Now for the next 12 hours, which goes out to later this evening, we can see that the GFS shows a pretty good chance of rainfall for uh, mainly Cuba, parts of Hispaniola, uh, sections of Jamaica as well, and even diverse islands across the Lesser Antilles. And then also for parts of Central America, including Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Panama. And then of course, down in South America, we have all that convective activity taking place. Uh, and that is what is inducing all the rainfall there. Now looking at the icon, icon is showing less rainfall uh, for the Greater Antilles compared to the GFS. But nevertheless, still that chance of rainfall for some of those areas and especially in our hilly areas. But nothing intense expected as we progress throughout today. And so guys, that is what is happening right now across the region. And so uh, moving on to this map here. Now this is from the Climate Prediction Center and this is a Global Tropics Hazards Outlook. Now we're focusing on week two. So this was issued last week and we're focusing on week two where we see April 19 to 25th so as we look at this we can see that highlighted green area in the north atlantic now this is showing that there could be some increased rainfall activity for some parts of cuba um, and the bahamas and even florida highlighted in that paler green as we head throughout this time frame here the 19th to the 25th so the latter part of this week to the latter part of next week but we're not seeing anything else of great concern out there of course things are pretty dry those dry conditions are very prevalent across the region and that is what is helping to suppress a lot of activity but of course as we head more to the summer months we're going to be seeing that increase in rainfall because of course we're going to be having those tropical waves eventually making their way into the region and some that might even develop up during the season so let's wait and see what's going to be happening but that is it for right now guys and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be otherwise